praise you, Father God. We exalt you, Lord. We lift your wonderful name on high. Because you are the yes. King of Kings oh, and you are the Lord yeah. of Lords. Yes, and Lord. Father God, we pray right now, Lord, for a decrease of us, mighty God, yes. and an increase of you. Oh, Lord, we want to be the hands and feet of you, Lord God. We want to be a voice piece for you, mighty God. Lord, let us be an instrument of your peace, Lord. Use us, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord God, we will bring the good news of you, Lord. Lord Jesus, we just praise you and thank you, Lord, for all that you do, Lord God. And we praise you more importantly, Lord, for your son going to Calvary's yes, cross for us, Lord yeah. God. We thank you for the ultimate oh, price he oh, paid, yeah. Lord God. Lord, we cannot even comprehend it, Father. You, but, Lord, he was so selfless, Lord, that yes. he did that for us, Lord God, that he took our sin, Lord, and bore it upon that cross, Father. Lord, we cannot even imagine, Father God, the cost that it was, Lord, but, Lord, we're so grateful, Father, because when he did that, Lord God, it was a remission of our sins, Father, that we could come into a lightning relationship with you, Father God. And, Father, we're so grateful, Lord, that we have that relationship with you, Lord. And, Lord, our desire, Lord God, is to bring people to the kingdom, Father, to advance the kingdom of you, mighty God, because that's what we want to do, Lord. Advance the kingdom, Father. Lord, it's not about us, Lord. It's about you, mighty God. Lord, we know the days are short, Father God, and we cry out, Lord, for the use of ever, Father, that, Lord, they will come to you, Lord God, and they will not, Lord God, go anywhere to the wayward way, Lord, but they will come, Lord, in your kingdom, Lord. We call them into the kingdom of light, Lord God, into your kingdom, mighty God. It's all about you, almighty God. We just praise you, Lord, and we bless you, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, from the bottom of our hearts, Lord, for all that you are, Lord, and all, everything, Lord, for your love, Lord. Lord, for your grace and your mercy, almighty God, have your way this day, we pray, in your precious, wonderful name, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Hi, my name is Helen. I gave my life to Jesus when I was 11 years of age. I come from a bit of an upsetting background, like most of us. I come from a divorced family. And my mum used to cry out when she used to be ironing. I can still see her now on a Sunday, she used to be ironing. She used to say, oh Lord God, why am I persecuted like this? And she didn't know the Lord at the time. Then my mum was working in this canteen and this lady got friendly with her. A new lady come on the block and she got friendly with her. And she said to me, would you like to come? My mum just clicked with her for some reason. And she said, would you like to come to church? Because my mum said she was always singing and always seemed happy. And she said, would you like to come along to church? And mum said, yeah. She said, well, I'll come to your house first and have a bit of tea and that with you, which she did. And we didn't really have people around for tea at that time. So she come and I said to mum, oh, she'll be this, she'll be that, she'll be the other. Mum said, no, she won't. She's, she's different. She's a Christian. And it didn't mean much to us. Because... So we all went along, me, my sister and my mum, to the church. And we went then to the church, and that's back in 1980. And I went in and I was amazed how all these people seemed so happy and full of love and full of peace. And I thought, wow, I like this. And the singing was joyful. Everything. And we really felt love because, like I said before, we was all upset because we'd had a bit of turmoil and different things. But I really felt accepted there and loved and we felt safe. It was a safe haven, really. And then we used to go on a Sunday and then we'd go to, I'd go to the ladies' meetings, I'd go to the prayer meetings. And then all at once... I just knew that I, knew I needed to do something. My mum gave her heart to the Lord, my sister gave her heart, and I gave my heart. When I went to the church, I, lo I loved the peace and the atmosphere in the, in the church and what the people had. And I thought, wow, well, I want a bit of this myself. But obviously, you don't have any understanding when you first go into a church. And then we got to the Bible studies and we got to the prayer meetings and I got in the youth and things like that. And then all of a sudden, it hit me that I needed to have just Jesus into my heart and to be my Lord and Saviour. And I thought, yeah, I've got to do that. Because I, that's why I can have a relationship. And that's when Jesus lives in my heart to invite him in to live with me. It's not just going to church. It's not just going to the prayer meetings. It's not just going to the Bible study. It's got to be a change. It's got to be a communication. It's got to be an openness and a willingness. And I asked Jesus to come into my heart and to my life. And boy, did it change my life. The peace we got, the joy, and I used to be fearful as a child of the dark. I used to be so fearful when my mum used to go to work in the morning. I used to lie on the settee because I wouldn't stay upstairs on my own. I was that fearful. And when the night, like when the lights went out, I was so scared. But it, I, I, my life just so changed when I got Jesus. We moved house. Everything happened. It just like all the ducks lined up in a different way. It was like coming out of a dark in a room in darkness. 
to putting on wonderful lights and it's like the peace come over me because I was very nervous as a child. I got nervous asthma, I got broad breakouts in my skin, etc. But when Jesus came in my heart, all that went because I, I knew that I was secure. I felt a security what I've never ever felt in my life. I felt love, what I, my mum loved us, she did. She loved us immensely. But you, it was a different love. It weren't a love as a, a natural love. It was a love that you can't describe of peace and joy and not to fear. You knew that that, shed, that, that arms was round you. You felt a love of a father. And it was like, wow, I love this. And it was so unique. It was one on its own, I thought. Well, I've never experienced love like this, and one thing I knew for sure, I never ever wanted to let that love go. And when I gave my heart to Jesus, I felt a peace. I felt a, a, a peace inside what I couldn't describe to anybody. And I felt like a love, what I had, what I've never experienced. And I felt like joy. And you felt like you weren't on your own. I didn't feel fearful. And also, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say to you everything's been a bed of roses, because no, it's not. I've had ups, I've had downs, but Jesus has brought me through each and every one. I've know I know he's been there for me for everything. You know, he's made a way. When you're in Christ, he gives you that determination, he gives you that want, he gives you that, yeah, you've got something to get up for, because you know you've got a purpose. What he makes, he takes the sting out of it, that's all I can describe it as. He takes the sting out of the sting. It's not like, yes, you do get a splash, you do get a sting, but it's not like you would get if you didn't have Jesus in your life. When you've got Jesus in your life, he makes all things bearable. You know, even on a worse day, I'd rather have Jesus in my life on a worse day than live without Jesus even on the best of my so-called days. He just makes everything so different. He gives you the peace, he gives you... It gives you a hope, it gives you a promise, Jesus, it gives you all. It gives you all what you couldn't get. It gives you that assurance, Jesus, it gives you that love, it gives you that where you don't have to fear, you don't have to... And it makes a way where there doesn't seem to be no way you think, blooming it, Lord, how only you could do that. Sometimes it's the 11th hour, the 59th minute, and the 59th second, but he always shows up, he always makes a way. Point one, how it was my life before Jesus. I was fearful, insecure sad, worrying all the time, stressed all the time. Point number two, sadly to say, walk the wall of shame, the first lady who didn't answer. But God was so gracious, he knew the cry of my mother's heart. He sent another lady along and in the invitation again to come to him. He extended that invitation. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I think, oh, you let me down once, I won't bother again. But you know what? God has been so gracious because even though we refused that one, which we did, we might not have directly and said, oh, I'm not coming tonight, but we did. We stood her up. It was worse, really. It was more impolite by not saying we're not coming. But God said, no, I, you know, he's, he's so patient and so understanding. He's not like us. He doesn't work on our realm. And then how I come to give Jesus my life is, it weren't just going to church because that's all I was doing, just attending. You know, but I knew I wanted something deep within me. And then I realised that I needed to, I needed a personal relationship with Jesus. It's like when we meet people, you know, you can talk to people over the internet, you can talk to people on the phone, but when you meet somebody in a, intimately, it's very, very different. Like Jesus, yes, we can't see him, we can't physically touch him, but it's like the wind, you can't see the wind, but you can feel the wind, but you can't see it. And that's how it is with Jesus. That's all I can describe it as. It's like something, when you ask Jesus in your life, it's like, wow, it's a wow moment, it really is. You feel different, your thinking changes, you just feel loved and you feel a peace and a security. Only God can give you that, your mother can't give you that, your father can't give you that, your sister can't give you that, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your, your husband, your wife, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, fiancé, only Jesus can give you that. Nobody, even your children can't give you that. It's Jesus, Jesus, who gives you that love and that, that security and that, that acceptance and that self-worth. That's what we all lack, really, because we all want to be loved. We all want to be accepted, really. You know, we can say, oh, we're not bothered and that. But we, we do, we get upset. We like to be loved. We like to be accepted because it's our nature. We do not, we're not designed to lose. We're not designed to walk alone. We're not designed to be a little island on its own. We're designed because we're built for love. And do you know what? I can honestly say, and on my heart, it was the best decision giving my life to Jesus Christ. 
I would, I've never looked back. And I praise him for that and I bless him. And I'm so grateful, Father God, that you was patient with me and you sent them two people and two special ladies who were always all special in my heart. There was persistent, there was um, uh, troops in boots and bless them. Our Father God, I just praise you and I bless you, Lord God, that you, Lord God, called me before the foundations of the world, Lord God. Oh, Father God, I am so eternally grateful, Lord, that my name, Lord, is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, Lord, and I praise you and I thank you, Lord, for what you did upon Calvary's cross, Lord, that you made a way, Lord. You made a way for me, Lord Jesus, and I'm so, so grateful, Father, for that. I praise you, Lord God. I bless you and I thank you from the bottom of my heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Saviour. Amen. Hi, my name is Helen and I want to say thank you sincerely. Thank you for listening. I pray it's encouraged you. I pray it's inspired you. I pray it blesses you. And I pray you can relate to it also. Because you'll all have your own personal testimony. Your ups and your downs. But one thing I know for sure is Jesus loves you like he loves me. And what I've had, you can have also. Because Jesus Christ died for you as well. And Jesus loves you. I just want to thank you for watching the video on Cloud Christian Ministries and if you've liked what you've seen please feel free to subscribe on the link below if you have any prayer request please feel free to contact us and you can contact us direct on cloudchristianministries.co.uk anytime thank you